Fly cutters are easy to make and they can leave a good finish on the face of your parts. This was one of the first tools I made at our shop about 20 years ago and it works great. In comparison to face mills that utilize several inserts, fly cutters use a single insert and this can help with improving surface finish and as long as the tool is running true with the table, you should be able to achieve good accuracy. As you can see by these results, this is a pretty good finish on hot rolled steel. If you've ever struggled to keep a tap from wandering off while you're starting it by hand, a spring tension tap guide can help with that. Without this tool, constant adjustments to the spindle height would have to be made to keep pace with the tap. Here we're applying a film that's kind of like a screen protector for your phone, except it goes on the window of your CNC machine, and as you can see the coolant beads and flows freely. Here we have three of the most common drilling cycles. G73 is a high speed peck with micro retracts, JD1 is just in and out, and G83 is a full retract peck drill. Thread micrometers allow accurate measurement of pitch diameter. The set seen here has interchangeable tips for measuring a wide range of threads using the same tool. Verifying your threads with a gauge is always recommended. Similar to standard micrometers, thread micrometers are set to a standard. Here we are zeroing our 1 to 2 inch micrometer on a 1 inch standard. Pitch diameter refers to measuring the flanks at the midpoint between the major and minor diameter. There are long established standards for each thread that control the minimum and maximum values. In this case, our target was 1.0854 inches. Taper taps like this NPT are a little bit different in that if you go too deep, you'll ruin the hole. This information can be found in the machinist handbook, but I put it in a chart that's easy to read which you can find on our website. Tapered reamers can be used to improve MPT hole quality. Hole saws are one of the best tools for putting large holes in sheet metal as you see here. <laughs> 